and welcome to my next smartwatch review. This just showed up in the mail today from AliExpress. I ordered this with my own money, and with my own money I mean the money generated from this channel by you smashing that like button and subscribing and leaving a comment and sharing it with others. Today we have the E600 smartwatch. So I'll do the unboxing here, and if you have not seen my reviews before, what I'll do is just show you what comes out of the box, and then I'll charge this thing up fully and go wear it for several days, and then come back with my full, fair, and honest review. It's got a user manual here. It's uh, This watch is an EKG, ECG watch with a 1.47 inch IPS screen that's uh, 172 by 320 pixels. This will do heart rate, blood pressure, blood glucose testing, thermometer, it's ice, uh, IP68 waterproof, it'll do sleep tracking, and it's got 15 sports modes, and the app is the old familiar H-band. This is what the back of the watch looks like. There's a little residue uh, from the adhesive there. Um, this is just a protective coating on the screen. I'll peel that off. That's what the screen looks like. It's got a charging cable. It's got the silicone band. The charging cable is going to be magnetic and it will just uh, pop onto the back of the watch here uh, thusly and the other end will plug into a UPS charging block. So I'm going to go do that, wear it for a few days and come back with my full, fair and honest review. It is the E600 Smartwatch, and it is the last, I think it's the fourth or fifth one I've done here this year in 2023 doing uh, reviews of devices that also do blood glucose monitoring. So let me walk you through the features of this smartwatch, and I had a commenter on this channel recently say I talk way too slow. They had to speed me up to 1.75 speed because I'm so slow and boring. Hey, I had somebody recently tell me, hey, you do you, boo. I try to give you the full, honest, and fair review of these smartwatches. I like to walk you through all the features. I like to give you my opinions. In my estimation, people who do boring unboxing reviews and just show you the basics without talking are doing, they're wasting your time. I'm actually trying to give you my opinion and show you what these watches can do. This is my favorite face. To change the watch face, you just press and hold, and then you can swipe left and swipe right and get into some other watch faces. Uh, but you can scroll through the watch faces. This is the one you see in their marketing. Um, obviously, the one I had up there is the one I like the best, and that's because I like the numbers to be kind of as big as possible and easy to read under most conditions. I've got the screen brightness turned up all the way here. And I've, it's on, I think 12 now is the highest. I've had it set on one all week. I've been wearing this for a week. Um, I usually turn the brightness way down to save battery life. You get your day and date, you get your steps on the bottom left, your heart rate uh, up the top right, you can see how much of your battery is left. Swipe from right to left, you get your pedometer, your steps for the day, your estimated kilocalorie burn, and the amount of distance you've walked. Uh, here is your heart rate in real time. I'll let this go in real time so you can see um, how quickly it takes this measurement. I find this to be pretty accurate. Of all the smartwatches I've done, this one hangs uh, right in there uh, with you know kind of the best of them. So I think the heart rate is pretty accurate and you can set it up through the app to uh, measure it at intervals. There you go, there's 81, 74, 79. It's gonna vary a little bit because I'm talking and moving here. Okay, so there's your heart rate. It'll do continuous heart rate. Um, it does blood pressure. I'll show you this in real time. And maybe if I don't talk, I won't get accused of talking so slowly, but hey, um, Let's, I'm just having a little fun here, folks. Uh, you know I appreciate you. I try not to talk slowly, but I am who I am. There's nothing I can do about it. And I just need to kill some time sometimes to let you see how these measurements are made in real time so you can see exactly how long they take. I think blood pressure is pretty accurate. I give it high marks on credibility. Um, Swipe to the next screen, and this is a little bugaboo of mine on, on this smartwatch. This is something called PTT. It is not explained in the manual or online anywhere, and if you press the play button here, it'll say it's measuring and it never go out of that mode. So I don't know why this is here. I don't know why they don't explain it, but it, it appears to do nothing. It'll do ECG, EKG. 
Here is what most of you are looking for, which is a non-invasive blood glucose monitoring watch, smartwatch. I'm gonna take this measurement several times here so you can see the repeatability. Um, this measurement, I don't know what to make of it because I can wake up uh, after like a 12 or 16 hour fast, eat nothing, have a cup of black coffee, and it will show my blood glucose increasing. Uh, sometimes to absurd levels, okay? Um, I have not eaten since lunch now. I just got back from the gym, so I'm hungry. My blood glucose should be fairly low right now. I'm a very low-carb athlete, um, so this number seems reasonable to me, and I'm going to do it one more time just again so you can see the repeatability. These measurements, me measurements are pretty fast, but then when I go into the app, I'll show you uh, more about the trace over time. Uh, your blood oxygen saturation, this has both the green and the red diodes, and I, again, I find this very credible on this measurement. I like it. Um, it, it does a good job. Again, I'm just going to let this go in real time so you can see how long these measurements take. Uh, and I'll just head off some of your comments and questions at the pass here. Uh, 99%, 95%, it'll vary a little bit. It's, I've been around 97, 98 most of the time. Seems reasonable to me. It will take your body temperature. Really what it's doing is taking your skin temperature and then calculating a body temperature. I'm almost always like 97.5%. I find the body temperature to be really good. It's really credible. There's your sleep. I find the sleep tracking to be good. It can pull in the weather forecast when tethered uh, via Bluetooth with your phone. You can go into workout modes. It's got several workout modes, outdoor running, outdoor walking, indoor run, indoor walking, hiking, stair stepper, outdoor cycling, stationary bike, elliptical, rowing machine, yoga, high intensity uh, intervals, free play, fitness, jump rope, fitness, gaming, whatever the heck that is. Maybe somebody can explain that to me too, along with PTT. How can you be gaming and be in the fitness at the same time? I don't know. Yeah, climbing, athletic, I don't know what that mode is. Ball, I assume that's soccer and dancing. All right, if I go back a screen, there's the pedometer, uh, there's my heart rate, and this gets you into those functions again, your sleep, your blood pressure, ECG or EKG, blood glucose, body temperature. Here's that PTT again. Again, it's 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 like a phantom feature that's unexplained and it appears to do nothing. Perhaps it's built into this watch for future use. I don't know, but it does absolutely nothing. So we just, you know, I, the notifications work. It will pull in the, your text messages when tethered with your uh, with your Bluetooth. And you can get into settings and, you know, there's your brightness. I have it at 12. Um, you can change various settings. You can get information about the watch. Let's go look at the app. The app here is the familiar H-Band app. On the main screen, you get your steps uh, for the day, uh, your hours slept. There's your pedometer. This is my uh, yesterday. I want to went on a six-mile hike. There's your sleeping. Never mind my disordered sleeping as of late. In general, this does a really good job tracking sleep. It gives you how many hours you slept, uh, how much was in light sleep, deep sleep, REM sleep, uh, awake times, falling asleep efficiency. Um, I like the sleep tracking feature, and I especially like the fact that it's kind of a slim fit watch, so it makes it, I don't know, some smart watches that I'm aware they're on my wrist when I'm trying to sleep. Here's my continuous heart rate. You get the track and the various zones, maximum and minimum. Again, this has a high degree of credibility in my mind. Here's your EKG measurements. Uh, I will take this measurement in real time. Let's slide that over here and we'll do start testing. I will hold the electrodes, press start, and I'll be as still as I possibly can. And you can watch this measurement go in real time. Um, again, it's going to be a little bit wonky because I'm talking. You're not supposed to talk. You're not supposed to move. But I find this does a really, really credible job. Um, if you're, in, you know, if you're really interested about heart health and you want to take these measurements regularly, you can take them whenever you want. It's as simple as pressing a button and holding the sides of your watch, and it's measuring the pulse from the bottom of the watch now all the way through my left arm, through my heart through my right arm back into the watch. So what I'm doing is completing the circuit here, and that's how it measures those electrical uh, pulses uh, at your heart. And okay, it's done, and I can confirm I wanna save that. It's saving the data. 
and I can go into my ECG details here and it's telling me my sinus rhythm there's the EKG or ECG showed no abnormal phenomenon it gives me a QT interval uh, that's a measure of heart health the higher that is the more relaxed you are the less stress you're under the lower that number, that means uh, you're forced into a more regular uh, heart rate, which means you're under stress, and that's, that's a bad thing. QT interval, heart rate variability. Um, I like all of this. It does a good job. Um, so high marks here. And let's go back to the main screen here. Okay, so that's your ECG, EKG, blood oxygen saturation. Uh, it'll, if you can set an alarm, if it senses an apnea event as you're sleeping, it'll buzz to wake you up. Blood oxygen concentration, respiratory rate, hypoxia time, cardiac load, range of sleeping activity, all great stuff. Um, HRV, you can track that over time, and it tells you uh, basically if it's abnormal, mild, or, or in the normal range. You know, again, heart rate variability, the more variable, the better. Your blood pressure tracking over time. Uh, my last one was, you know, okay, my last few were a little bit higher. See your measurements, your highest blood pressure measurement, your lowest blood pressure measurement. Again, this all seems to make sense to me, your body temperature. And now here's the blood glucose monitoring. Again, after 9 a.m., I usually just have coffee, no sugar, nothing added to it, and I get that little glucose spike. I, I'm not sure that makes sense to me. Uh, unless maybe just when you wake up and you start becoming active, your blood glucose increases, which does make sense to me. Over time, it's telling me my maximum is about 7.16, minimum 3.3, average 4.6. This all seems fairly reasonable to me. If you go into some of the settings here, you can go into your blood glucose private mode, and this is where you can really increase the accuracy of that blood glucose a measurement if you know your fasting blood glucose level when you wake up you can set it in here okay and then that is telling the watch basically what your baseline is what is your fasted glucose level so you can uh, enable that if you know it when you wake up after not eating for a long time plug that in it will give you a more accurate blood glucose reading there's plenty of settings here and uh, you know, that's the app. Uh, so let me give you my final thoughts here. So there you have it. Uh, it's the E600 smartwatch with blood glucose monitoring. I like it. I like the form factor. I like the slim design. Of all the blood glucose watches I've reviewed so far, I like this one the most. It seems to be the most credible. It's the slimmest fit. I don't even know it's there most of the time. Uh, and I like it. Other than this weird mode of PTT that is not explained anywhere and doesn't seem to do anything, everything else on this watch seems really solid to me. For 35 to 45 bucks, which is what this is selling for right now, I would tell you to check it out. I think it's a pretty good value. Um, I don't believe blood glucose monitoring in a non-invasive watch form yet, so that's a huge caveat. I don't really trust the measurement itself. But of the ones I've tested, this one seems to be about the best that I've looked at. So there you go. You know what to do. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, like this review. Leave a comment. Tell your friends. Check me out at DaveTheKayaker.com. And feel free to make a donation to support my site over there. Or you can make a donation right here on this YouTube channel. And be sure to check out my fitness tracker and smartwatch review playlist on YouTube. I'll be coming at you soon with some more smartwatch reviews. I've had a couple companies reach out to me and they're going to send some to me soon. And when they get here, I'll wear them for a few days and do a very similar review to this one. Thank you. Stay healthy. Subscribe. And uh, I will talk to you very, very soon if the good Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak, made in the finest American tradition. Or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history. You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. Westside Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.